doing today? Uh, you know, I've never heard of the Oviedo Chicks. I've heard of the Dixie Chicks. I've heard of Chick-fil-A. And I've heard of uh, Chicken Pot Pie. But I've uh, never heard of the Oviedo Chicks. But now that I've met them, mm, you know, they're like a, a, a brick short of a full load. But they're, they're a little strange. But I like them. I like them just fine. But... Um, they uh, have given me this opportunity to share with y'all today, and uh, y'all just need to know a little bit about myself. I am uh, Laura Sherwood, and I'm from Texas. Born and raised, went to a little church down the street um, every time the doors were open. And that's where I learned about Jesus on the flannel board. And I think y'all all, if y'all been to church, you know that that's where you learn about it. And um, I had a stay-at-home mom. I don't know if y'all are familiar with those things anymore, but... Mine stayed at home, and she had the cookies and the milk and stuff when I'd get home from school. It was a lovely thing. And back in the 50s, <clears throat> anyway, that era, they, um, she would wear dresses and pearls to do to clean the house. Uh, it was crazy. And she ironed all the time. The woman ironed. Uh, back, that was in the day when you didn't, you had to iron everything. And my mother would, I don't know if your mother ever did this, but she'd sprinkle it with water and put it in a bag and freeze it. And then one day a week, she'd get out all the ironing and it'd take her the whole day, gum day to iron. But that's my, how I grew up. And all my summers were like, uh, I'd run through the sprinklers. Uh, we'd have baseball games in the backyard and ice cream trucks. Do they do ice cream trucks anymore? I just don't know. I haven't heard the bell. But uh, one of my favorite memories is um, those mosquito trucks at dusk. Did they ever come around your neighborhood and go? And I couldn't wait to see the big old fog things behind the truck. And I'd go get on my bike and I'd follow them all around the neighborhood. Now my mother says that's a little why well, I'm a little off. But I'm not sure if that has anything to do with it. But anyway, what I was going to tell you is one of the best things about my mama was, and I think a lot of moms here, they, uh, that I have passed on one of her things is um, the mama's spit. Are y'all familiar with that? That's that glob of stuff that comes out that you'd get a wad of it on your cheek before you go to church because she'd clean y'all up. And that stuff had power in it. I'm telling you, it'd clean up your legs and your, when you was bleeding. And um, I'm telling you, I think if CSI would get that and put it under a microscope, we could cure cancer. I'm just saying. I'm thinking there's something in there. And because of Mama Spit, I've written a song in honor of my mother. And I'm going to sing it for you. <laughs> I think you will, you know, you might need a little tissue or something because it's, it's really a, a tender song. And I've titled it Mama Spit. All right, you ready? Okay. <sighs> Let's see. Let me, let me look over my notes so I don't forget the words. Amazing Spit. Is what my mama had. She used it all the time. She'd wash my face, get the crud out of my eyes without ever using a rag. I know it's touching, isn't it? Amazing spit had healing powers. It would clean my bleeding leg. The calic in my hair would smooth right down from the likes I've never seen. Last verse. Amazing spit. It's hard to describe. It's something only mamas do. Every woman here knows what I'm talking about. Our husbands, they ain't got a clue. Okay, now, I know I just need a moment. That was just very touching. That's for you, Mama. I wrote that just for you. But I thought I'd close with um, some words. I, I like my chocolate. And my favorite is uh, a, those little dove candy things. And uh, I had to read eat about nine or eleven of these things so I could get a little saying on the back. They have these really wonderful sayings, but half of them aren't worth flip, but I thought this one was worth repeating. And it's, it says, well-behaved women rarely make history. And I think that's true. So I think y'all need to go get you a piece of chocolate and chew on that a while. And y'all come back now. Here.